Welcome! In this tutorial we will demonstrate some of the basic operations of the Visual GLCD such as how to create a new project, how to add and edit objects, how to add multiple screens as well as how to change the architecture of the target MCU, compiler or MCU itself. This presentation will be performed with the Micro C Pro B compiler. If you use another Microelectronics compiler, don't worry. Switching between architectures and compilers is very simple. This will also be covered in this video. We will start by creating a new project. Go to the project menu and click on the new option. A window named project settings will appear on the screen. Type in the name of the project and click OK. If you don't specify the project path, a new project will be saved, by default, in the Projects folder stored in the Visual GLCD installation folder. Now, choose the development system and compiler in the Project Settings window. For the custom hardware or connection, select the Custom option. Custom settings will be saved by clicking on the Save As button. We choose the EasyPix 6 development system and MicroC Pro 4 p compiler. Note how all parameters are set accordingly when you select the development system. GLCD module connections, desired font selection, TP module connection, AD channels initialization. The Use Calibration Constants option utilizes predefined values for touch panel and no calibration is needed. If the Manually option is selected, the calibration procedure will be executed every time you power up or reset your hardware. Now, let's proceed with making our new project. Adding new objects to Visual GLCD is pretty easy. Just click and drag a desired object on the display screen. As you can see, we have just added a simple button. You can edit its properties by either resizing it with the mouse or by editing numbers in the Components Properties panel. Buttons can also have captions and round edges. Click and drag rounded caption object. Let's edit its properties a little to better suit our needs. Adding a new screen is also a simple task. Just click on the Add Screen button. Now we will add an image to the second screen. To add an image path, click on the Picture button and browse the desired picture. In this video, we will use some pictures from the Images folder stored in Visual GLCD installation folder. The Auto Size feature allows you to use the whole image or just a part of it. Setting Auto Size to False allows you to resize image width and height. Setting it to True loads the complete image again. Now it's time to add a code to our project. We can do this by clicking on an object then adding a desired action. There are four actions available. These are on up, on down, on click and on press. In this video we will use the on click action. For a detailed explanation on this and other actions check the visual GLCD help file. Let's go back to screen 1 and add action to our button.
Actions are added by selecting object and double-clicking on a desired action in Properties panel. User code can be easily inserted via the user code window. The Draw Screen function enables us to jump to another screen, in this case screen 2. Actions can be added to any object, image included. Now it's time to see our code in action, which means to save our project and compile it with our compiler. To save a project, go to the project menu and click on the save option. Now you can see your project code in the generated code window. Let's add another object that will toggle LED on the development board. We will add code for this button directly from the compiler. There is an easy way to start your compiler from the application. A simple click on the generated code and an attempt to edit it like pressing space or something will prompt you with question to start the compiler. Let's add a simple code for the new object. Now, when our code is done, all we need to do is to compile and program it. Click on the Build plus Program option in the Build menu.
In order to change a compiler language or development system, go to the Settings menu and click on the Project Settings option. Let's change compiler from C to Pascal. In order to view and edit our Pascal code, it is necessary to start up the MicroPascal Pro4P compiler. The procedure is the same as for the MicroC Pro4P compiler. Go to the Project menu and click on the Save option. Then click on the generated code and press space on keyboard. Now it's time to adjust our C code to Pascal. Finally, we are ready to compile and program our new Pascal code. You have had the chance to see how easy it is to create a new project, add objects, actions, modify and build the code by using this tool only. Anyway, that's not all. Among other mentioned and not mentioned functions and features, there is also one more very useful feature called Export Project. Go to the Project menu and click on the Export option. Select the destination folder, and click on the export option. Now you have a project and code that is ready to be sent or shared with others. By exporting a project you make it 100% executable on any other computer. It's simple as that. Just give it a try.